I don't know what happened. Crap. Did I just erase all these things in the past like few days? Crap. Hold on. Okay, I guess not. I'm so <laughs> excited. I am so excited. I, you can see how excited I am. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I just had my first voice lesson and I'm going to put you down somewhere. I don't have anywhere to put you down. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this with spider. Okay. I'm so excited. I just had my first... Ignore that. I just had... I just had... Oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna just like cry or yell or something. I just had my first voice lesson, which is why I'm like standing because I was standing for the last hour or so, a half hour, and I'm just so excited. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. And I was so not like this excited and big with her. But I think that's why I'm like extra big now because I couldn't get it out like how awesome that was. Oh my god. I don't know how many years ago. Yeah, I'm going to go into one of those stories right now. I don't know how many years ago I found on YouTube this guy who had these vocal warm-ups that were like... Stuff like that which kind of is unique in a way i've not really been taught that by anyone else but i know it's out there it exists but funny enough i don't know why no one taught me that before his name is eric arsenault you might have heard about him i don't know but i always kind of wanted to take lessons from him he was offering lessons at the time but i didn't have money i didn't have time i was basically a chicken really more than anything else because you make time you make money if you really want it yeah oh my god i'm sorry hold on i would send emails to book and they're like oh we have other people instructors i'm like mm, okay i don't know just like the fear of decision which is ironic and if you don't get that that's okay that's a more inside joke type of thing but i have a crazy fear of making decisions i cannot make decisions it's not a pathological fear though it's not like i have a phobia of making decisions it's just very difficult like oh my god i don't know i don't know anything about these instructors i see him on youtube but i don't see anyone else so how do you want me to make a decision about anyone else you know i came to you because of him so they should put up something too on youtube so i can see now they do have little videos of some i think just two or three three people i think three of the instructors of a few weeks ago i went and i said i think when i came back from mexico i went to mexico uh, another thing yes i'm starting my vlog over i have a big chunk of stuff that has happened that i wish i could share but i was lazy and i chose my personal life above anything else <laughs> which also is not a good thing i decided to just start over it's a lot to edit for me and it's a lot of things that are personal and i've always been open like let's do personal things and you know learn from me and i want to do that in the future maybe not necessarily with the vlogs maybe write a book or something and blah 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 but if there is value in what i have to say and what i've learned and what i've experienced I might not be able to take it from it the value you right now so we'll just hold on a little bit i don't know but for a number of reasons i'm very comfortable with this decision to just start from scratch over and also make it a little less private a little less personal <laughs> a little more private just to respect the people in my life that don't want to be necessarily on camera or to talk about them on camera i'm i'm, I'm exploring right now i know I'm, i need to get back to this voice lesson thing but i'm exploring and i'm really excited about about this exploration I'm giving myself and this is why I kind of want to voice again because I'm giving myself the freedom to explore and she had an awesome quote that I forgot I didn't write it down a person who is illiterate she said it might be Tolstoy a person who is illiterate in the future or might be illiterate not because they can't read and write but because they can't learn unlearn and learn again so I thought that was like mind blown because that's what I'm going through right now I have discovered so many bad habits that I've done with my personal life and it's easy to say well 
just get off Facebook, just get off social media, just stop posting negative posts, Serena, and other things. But it's not easy at all. You have to unlearn coping mechanisms, and there are coping mechanisms for a reason. You're coping with something. It's something that you will always kind of cope with, especially if you keep doing that. It's kind of like a self-fulfilling prophecy in this like thing. I don't know, whatever. I'm excited to give myself the freedom to make mistakes. Another thing we talked about. So much in life where like, oh, don't make mistakes, don't do anything wrong, just be perfect. But don't be perfect, like it's okay, we're all like trying and learning and not perfect, but also be perfect. That mixed message, ah, what do you want from me? Get a job, but you need experience to get a job, but you need a job to get experience, screws with your mind. And you know there's like a way, obviously there's a way about it, like scholarships, but what if you don't have scholarships? There's so many other things anyways, I will... I'm learning also to be more concise, but that's probably, don't hold your breath on that. <laughs> but either way, so I've been entering this stage of self-work and it's been challenging and it's been challenging, not just to me, but to people around me. Got back inside of myself and said, okay, I lost my voice. I don't know my voice actually. And it's funny because we're talking about that too, as far as like actual voice, but I'm talking about like the voice in my head that tells me this is me this is that me the people who like me for me are challenged because <laughs> that sounds weird that they're challenged to like me because i'm not me and they're like well wait a minute i mean you know acceptance and unconditional love and whatever but i don't know who you are kind of and i don't think they realize that either but i've picked up on it and so i'm trying to find myself again that sounds so cliche oh my gosh it's a continuous process it will never stop Stop. we change we evolve but we're made of so much unless we have maybe the access of going to a retreat and working through all of it for like a few months or a year not all of us do I don't resources time money all that stuff to do that and it takes so much longer if you take it one day at a time because you fall back and then it's hard you have to get up again and do it again and pick up and keep moving while everything else is still moving and you're like hold on like I'm being pulled apart in two directions and I don't know how to make this work so it was tough to do that I picked up on it but I didn't really know how to or I didn't have the courage to or I think I just didn't know how to I will, I've been struggling a lot in the past this summer it was a lot of <sighs> life has changed yo <laughs> life has changed a lot and just because it's changed for the better doesn't mean it's not challenging it's very challenging especially when it changes for the better and I don't know how to live this new life and I've that's something that I've been dealing with and not just this summer it's kind of for a year and a half almost two no a year and a half it's been on the up but it's not easy you get like bulldozers and snowballs falling down and rocks and stuff birds pecking at you because you're like by their crib by their what do you call it <laughs> by their crib nest by their nest and yeah, I forgot how I got into this transition. Oh yeah, because I'm starting the vlog over, yes. I am starting the vlog over because it brought me joy and it made me happy and it gave me power, the energy to keep hustling, to keep pushing through. Hustling is what Superwoman says and I love her and I follow her. I haven't really lately because I had so much else going on and I let myself slip away and I can't do that anymore. And I regret, you know, like you go back and like, oh, if I did that differently, but you can't. So I'm just starting from here on out for multiple reasons, but not really. It's kind of that's the reason. <laughs> And voice too, so I've been trying to get back into the acting class that changed my life in more ways than one and it brought me so much joy and happiness and it brought me people in my life that I will forever treasure, one of which is like my best friend right now who is amazing. I literally, I think every time I'm so inspired to be a better person because of her. I cannot even describe how in awe I am of how good she is as a 
the per like you know that goodness that kindness and that selflessness because i've also discovered i can be a little selfish i am an only child so i've never really had to think about anyone else but if you're not an only child you can also fall into the trap of like well no one ever thought about me they only thought about my brothers and sisters you know so that's not really an excuse and i'm not going to do that excuse it's just i've realized it doesn't matter why but i've realized i am a little self-absorbed and selfish people who know me like this friend might agree to some degree but she also knows me kind of better than i know myself and it's funny because she told me that i know her better than she knows herself and i'm like oh, i don't know about that you seem to know yourself pretty well i never thought about it actually so when she said that to me i'm like no i can't like what i know that she knows me for sure better than i know myself when i've been kind of bad to myself she kind of points that out she's always right and she just does it in such a kind way it's it, like it, it blows my mind again so many mind-blowing experiences lately <laughs> but that's not the only thing or the only person that has meant so much to me in the past like year but it's an example that i'm just i'm just so grateful right now considering everything that's happening in this journey that i'm on that i'm aware of again because i stopped being aware of it having her and just i just i'm feeling in so much awe and gratitude of her so i just wanted to point that out but anyway Anyways, anyways, anyways. Again, she's not the only one, so I don't know. Like I said, I don't really want to talk about people in my life, including her. I do want to explore privacy more. And that's because of another person that came into my life. Ugh, I don't know. It just it liberated me. I used to be the person who would post everything on Facebook. I felt bad, I would post it. And five seconds later, I'm like, oh, I'm top of the world. And I think people thought I was crazy sometimes. And sometimes they're like, I don't know what to believe she's she has issues <laughs> i don't think i have issues more than anyone else i think it's just i'm very open about them and i'm i don't hide them and i don't hide them from myself either and i think a lot of people hide them from themselves and it's not a bad thing that sounds bad and i would say that it's kind of bad but it's not necessarily that bad it's more we're all trying to figure out the best way to live life and life is messy and complex and there's really no handbook and even though there's so many like look at this all these handbooks right for life they all kind of say the same thing but they say it a little differently or they say some things that the other one doesn't i mean wayne dyer alone has multiple books obviously there's not one book that defines how you should live how you should love how you should work how you should eat and breathe and everything oh maybe breathing a little bit there's different types of breathing too so yeah i'm gonna let you join me on this quest but it's mostly not going to be as personal as it, as it used to be or as i intended it to be once i got all these people in my my life and stuff started happening so it's more subdued and it's more inspiring also watching superwoman a year ago when i was doing these vlogs i was very much more like be real you know there's all these people that are like ah showing their best side and not showing their worst side going through the stuff that i've been going through like up and down and all this awesome stuff and also this really not awesome stuff seeing her and thinking of remembering how much joy she brings me for being so upbeat and how much energy she gives me to push through i started watching the kiri diaries i've not seen sex in the city but i started watching this just the way she handles things is just so cool and fascinating to me and it's so i like it because it doesn't show at least through my eyes right now it doesn't show like she's ignoring her problems or escaping her problems and actually that was like one episode where she broke up with this guy she break up well they both broke up up with each other because it was hard to be together and it wasn't quite fitting and working out so they broke up and then she left for new york city he came after her a, a bit after <laughs> long a few weeks later or maybe not weeks but she met this other girl sam samantha she's like oh you know what you need to get over this guy you need to just move on and go have fun meet new people go get with other people she's like oh okay yeah that sounds great and she was putting on me up and she's like that's not me 
And if I do this, then I will lose me on top of losing this, this kid. Because <laughs> his name is Kid. Anyways, it's not worth it. I love that moment so much because that's me. Like I've said this so many times. That I don't want to do what other people do or what we blindly kind of fall into doing. You know, like it, you do it as a reaction. I want to react less because I react a lot. Rebounding has never really been my reaction. My reaction is like I'm going to be terribly sad and depressed and hate my life and my life sucks and I am unlovable no one's ever going to love me you know that's that's me more than like yeah let's go let's meet someone else I just appreciate that moment because you see so much in shows and movies okay the way to get over someone is to go find someone else and that's not that doesn't happen and your temperature is high I'll be back so this is not a huge change because I'm finding it very difficult to keep. I thought, oh, 10 minutes, this will go by fast. Yeah, it, I'm still talking. <laughs> but anyway, so I appreciate that moment because like we should stay true to ourselves, but it was just like, I like how it's sending good messages because it's about always take care of you. You know, rebounding doesn't really help you. It look, make you makes you look cool. I'm, I, I mean, this is an example, but coping mechanisms is what I'm talking about. We do things without thinking just to escape something. I've done it actually in the opposite way. Oh, I have this problem and I have all this work. I need to work out. I need to write a movie. What is my boyfriend doing? Oh, you know, let me focus on this other social problem problem or social person, social person, <laughs> on this person that I can like actually talk to and it's not one way, like I, I'm avoiding what's harder for me to do which is just sitting with myself and doing something by going to this thing that is maybe even good and like oh you want to hang out you know with a friend or something so um I don't know how I got this, I don't know if you can see it, uh, uh, uh. this like random hole in my stump, my palm, can you read my palm? I don't know. I, I never know this stuff. I don't know. Is this my lifeline? Because it's kind of broken. We all have our own coping mechanisms. And I'm in a state of being more aware. Like one thing that my cousin told me, I love talking about, I love psychology. I wish that I, I was, I would have been such a good psychology researcher. I love researching, I love that. But it's ironically the thing that scared me from finishing psychology and going into business, which I don't do and I want to get away from. Our memories change based on how we feel in the moment. So like we fall in love with a person based on if it works out or not we either have a good or a bad memory about how it started like oh the stuff that they did I knew it wouldn't work out or oh the stuff that they did I knew it was going to work out I've been come aware of how my memory of how something was is influenced by how I feel or what I know right now and the thing is that you always will know more in the future than you do in the present or the past always about everything and everyone. You cannot know one single person wholly because they also evolve and change every minute. You know, something could happen to them, someone could say something to them and they're changed. They could see someone die in front of them and they're changed. <laughs> God, morbid. And also with things as well, but I enjoy that awareness and I'm on this path of becoming aware instead of continuing bad habits or good habits. Instead of continuing habits, voting is a habit as well. Like, oh, I voted for this person because I always vote this party. Or or, oh, I'm this religion because I've always been this religion. And I actually went to a Catholic high school, was ahead of its time maybe, or at the time. The priest was amazing and he told us like, no, you should challenge your faith. If you don't challenge your faith, that's not good because you're not choosing to believe that. You're just believing it because someone told you. And that's, I forget how he put it, but to me I would put it, that's kind of insulting to that higher power that you believe in because you're not doing it because you believe. You're doing it just because because you're told to do it. And the same thing with heaven and hell. Natalie Portman, I will always quote this because that's like, ah, temperature. I'll be back. 
Mm -mm. Okay. So if you believe in heaven and hell, you won't want to go to hell. You might say that you like, oh, I don't care. But in, deep inside, you just kind of gave up and that's why you don't care. Because you're like, oh, I'm. it's too late for me. Let's say mostly, generally, people will want to go to heaven. So they'll do things just for that reason to be saved and not because it's a good thing to do. And the same thing I apply to is your path in life. Oh, well, you know, I'll just do business. I'll just go and work in a company and because this is all I can do if it was meant to be I would have done something else and it's like well no you have to make that happen honor that higher force that has given you a purpose in life I at least I believe that we all have a purpose in life that comes from somewhere outside of our life <laughs> whether it's God or universe I believe in the universe this like general I don't even want to say force necessarily entity I don't know that's even limiting I think the ultimate respect for that entity force whatever is you living your life not someone else's life and you getting to heaven because which I struggle with I don't really believe in heaven and hell but you getting to heaven because you deserved it. you're not going to get to heaven because you did everything that was on the list mindlessly the point is for you to do good deeds you can't do do good the can't do good deeds if you're not good about it like if your intention is not to do them they're not good if your intention is to just not get to hell that's not a good intention that's a sneaky intention get it anyways i'm not going to get into that but i mean i just did but you know I'm gonna get back to the voice thing. I, I forgot about it and I was so excited. So welcome back to my vlogs. I don't know how long this will go and also there's going to be less editing because my plate is going to be a little full, especially after this voice lesson. I need to work out. I need to have muscles in my abs <laughs> and not like these abs, low abs because she was having me do these exercises with my, uh, not solar plexus, root chakra, which is like the part under your belly button that was not working and I could feel like I have no muscle to engage right now partially because I'm not used to it to doing it but also because there's just like let me let me show you like I'm tensing right now and it's still there's nothing that's like tensing back so I need to exercise I need to go to work I have other things going on so we'll see how this lasts and how it goes but welcome back anyways so I just had my first voice lessons I've been struggling to get back to the school that changed my life for the better since December I came into my life and that's all I'll say about that. I will keep that part private. I cannot believe I say that because that is so not who I thought I was. <laughs> but I'm not doing it for, um, uh, I'm doing this honestly because I'm excited that I can make that decision without having to stick. Like, this is the thing about me. Like, I know um, I'm discovering who I am and I there's parts of me that I know are me. But I also am very aware how ever-changing we are and having never been in a position where I had the option to talk about that stuff. Like when I started the vlogs, I had no one even close to anyone in my life. I will be right back. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. So at the time, it was great. I didn't have to consider anyone and their privacy. And also, I didn't know how much stuff goes into all of that. In my head, I'm like, oh, you know, um, we all have this like idea of how things go. And then reality is never, never 100% like that. And I'm not talking about how things go between people, but how we are like, oh, I would definitely do that if that happens. You know, I would definitely jump in front of that boss to save that kid. We don't know. We have an idea of what we want based on some sort of agenda which is what I'm trying to untangle what am I doing that's for an agenda discover that I do things because I think other people or the other person wants that of me but then they actually don't they want to be myself me to be myself it just plays with my mind when it shouldn't like how messed up is that like that's, that doesn't make sense like you have people in your life that are like arena just be yourself I like you for who you you are not this other person that you think I want you to be <laughs> somewhere some book some movie some person told you this is how you should be a good friend and if you're not this then you're not a good friend you know 
and stuff like that. I mean, I, I haven't changed that much. I haven't. I'm, but part of me leaving that school and, or going back and forth with it was because of relationship stuff. Wow. Okay, let me edit that. Part of me leaving that school or going back and forth was to focus on the more personal side of life. Where are things going with this person? Are they going somewhere? And that's like giving you way too much information. If it doesn't make sense. It's probably because I edited stuff that might have tied things together together but it wasn't exactly that I was exhausted come December I was exhausted I auditioned for a play I got the play I could not believe it I would think I was on top of the world in December I had someone I had something that I always and I didn't want to play but I wanted to act in front of people you know like that was going to happen friends or like a friend and all this stuff was happening I think it was just I wanted to enjoy all of that and I know I should be like don't sacrifice like don't stop something because of something else don't, you know like you think you made it but you didn't make it I don't think I made it because I was in a play that's not why I stopped like oh, okay good I don't need to go to classes anymore that's not the reason I stopped because I didn't stop in January I came back it was difficult I had rehearsal every day almost except for Tuesday and Wednesday I think and couldn't even really make the classes and it was just too much and I couldn't focus on that I needed to focus on the play more and I also had like this personal life developing and so it was like too much stuff happening at once gosh I it was too much stuff happening at once so i need to eat crap it's like what 220 okay so i stopped i i would come back and forth i said okay once i'm done with the play i'll come back but then once the play happened i was exhausted i didn't know how exhausting people talk about that but you're like i don't feel it and then the play ends and you're like yeah i need a vacation right now i mean like a full-on vacation and i wasn't the one trying too hard i was like backstage like just eating snapchatting blah 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 putting makeup my makeup on etc I no uh, temperature. There were people around me, they were looking over their lines over and over and over again. If you saw me, there were a couple nights that I was like on fire, a couple of nights I suck. Actually, when my friends came, I was horrible. And I think because I was nervous, I don't like people that know me to watch me perform. I don't. The first night my parents came and they were right in the front row, I'm like, this is not going well. Like, bleh, everything escaped. And the same thing that night. So I'm kind of bummed. There were two nights that people came and the second night I didn't really know. So that was, I think, my best night too, actually. I'm saying that I didn't even put that much effort in it. Like the director was like, sorry, Julia, sorry. But she was like, you guys have to stay in character backstage. You can't fool around. I don't know. Nope. Mm -mm. No. The moment I got off stage, I was like, oh, I need to go into my Zen place. <sighs> I was just shutting down. I just, I didn't want to think about what was about to happen. I had my scene closed person always like she would get off stage instantly on his script and reading it. I, I just didn't get that. It worked for her and she was amazing. I just, I wasn't like that. To me, if I, the moment that I did that, I kind of screwed things up a little bit because it was just, I am the person that I'm too anxious. So I need to not think about it and then just say, like, I'll be perfect. And the same thing with my personal life. And my personal self like I can't be myself if I think about it I just need to pretend like nothing is worth anything I can just be free I don't know it's it's hard to and you're going to shut off because of temperature again so let me move on after that play ended which is all in Spanish by the way you're welcome you're welcome I don't know thank you I don't know what I'm saying you know what I cannot come back I need a break. Stuff also happened that month outside of the play and everything, but drained me. It was amazing to be on stage, but I've not wanted to go back yet. I mean, it's fun, but it's hard to commit to that. I, I find it hard also because I have all these other things that I want to do and that leads me closer to today, which is I think I went back in May-ish, yeah, or April, one of those, and it was cool. I just could not get in it and also I was getting conflicting feedback like literally like I'll tell you one feedback prop my feet I don't know what I'm doing so one feedback was arena you're not dropping the relationship literally the next time arena you need to drop the relationship and it's like 
what do you want from me? Like, I, in real life, this is what I would be thinking. I'm very much in the present and in this moment. I'm not thinking like I'm on stage right now. I'm thinking this is happening to me. And I get that's not coming across, but that might not be because of what I'm doing internally. So I stopped going because I was just, I, I don't know what to do. I'm trying and it's not clicking. And again, like it's not only what was going on outside of that in my own life, but also so I, I took a step back and wondered what do I really want. Got two speeding tickets in May. So I'm like, I can't, I cannot pay right now. I got into such a spiral, downward spiral financially. I couldn't, I felt like I will never get out. I, I broke down on that second ticket. I literally broke down. I've never cried in front of a cop. I broke down and that cop did not care at all. Temperature. Cool. He's like, are you alright? My, would it make a difference if I wasn't in my head? Of course I didn't say that because never talk back to a cop even though I kind of do. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm that rebel, um, and it is not because of my skin. It's a long, long story on that. I don't live up to my inner person. I censor myself a lot. <laughs> Let's just go there. Because I'm scared for my safety and for other people's safety. I could not go to classes anymore financially. And also my heart wasn't in it anymore. I wanted to write my own stuff. I wanted to do my own stuff. And I didn't have enough time in a day. I couldn't exercise. I couldn't have a personal life. I couldn't go to work. I couldn't go to class also right on top like there literally wasn't enough hours in a day unless I didn't sleep what is the least important classes why because I've gone for almost a year it's cool but that's not exactly what I want to do it's part of it but it's only a part of it I want to focus on other things I'm like in me there's this drive to be the leader but I want to have my own brand I want to create things it's in me I have to literally I have to create it's like an addiction or obsession or whatever I have to like it's just like ah, I need to get out arena it's kind of gross kind of thing I haven't been there since and I'm not sure if I'm going back I don't want to completely rule it out because because I don't know the basic simple truth that's all there is to it I have no idea if I want to go back or not but right now there's things that take precedence and one of them is songwriting I've been missing that a lot I don't really remember what got me back into songwriting I think my voice has changed a lot lately. I, my answer right now would be, oh, I've noticed my voice is better or it's more moldable. There's some, something to work with now as opposed to before and it's a good time. And the moment that I started writing again and singing, that expression, and I think I saw Ariana Grande on Carpool Karaoke. That wasn't even that long ago, but I think I saw that and I thought that is what my inner core feels like is home, at least right now. And it's kind of been that way since I was five. Kind of came out of the womb with that feeling of I need to be a singer, I need to be a, an artist, not only a singer, an, a full artist. That's me. I'm not just a singer. I'm definitely not just a singer. I mean, if it was just the singing, I would. Um, but I want to be an artist in general, whether it's filmmaking or, or songwriting, fine art, painting, and all that stuff. Painting, painting, and all that stuff hasn't really stuck to me that much, but it is part of me. And it's kind of interesting because we don't give ourselves that are more like slaves to life instead of what are you good at what can you contribute to this community this world community with you have to have certain things to make it to that to be able to live your truth and that's kind of sad but i booked my first lesson with an instructor hopefully this will be the last time probably not so I booked, I, I went and I, I watched the, the I, 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 I watched these people videos that I saw, the other instructors. The way that she was talking about it, because I think another one kind of mentioned a similar thing, but the way that she talked about it, I thought she's the closest one out of all these other ones that I see that I feel I can connect to. Ow, ow, blah, blah, blah. I, we, just had the first lesson and I'm not as excited anymore because I let all this energy out on this uh, journey of what has been happening for the last, uh, not even 12 months because I, I started like in December. But it was a good amount of introduction, not too much, not too little, about who I am and where I'm coming from and, you know, my 
possible blockages or whatever why I chose her and excuse me and also I get we talked about acid reflux a little bit because that's something I've been struggling with also a side note we both agree this does not help your acid reflux I mean good luck it does not it does not if you're like in a bind and you really need something because it's so bad maybe or maybe like take this but neither of these will work the only thing that worked for me was <laughs> was being happy which my mom said you know parents are always right i will i haven't taken next in months but it's a whole bunch of things including breathing and she was talking about it and she gave me some exercises and i realized how much um i don't know how to use these muscles <laughs> and i use them incorrectly and i think it's making other organs not function properly the karate kid i need to watch that movie and she gave me the exercises and we talked about dogs barking and stuff but also what we didn't talk about and i realized was i need to work out because i need these muscles to be able to engage with me they need to work with me one thing we did talk about was that it's a whole body experience singing is not just here and especially that it shouldn't be just here it shouldn't be here almost at all everywhere else and your temperature ah <sighs> battery went down 50% too. It's Friday, I don't even know. Oh, I have to kind of clean and help out with stuff because tomorrow we have a big party anyway. Thing is, I am very excited right now. I doesn't feel like it. And by I doesn't feel like it, I mean I don't feel like it and it doesn't feel like I'm excited because I'm crashing because I'm st I was so wired. I was so happy at the beginning. I just wanted to scream. I was so excited. I really like her because she gave me karate kid type of stuff to work on. It's something I also struggle with is taking things slow and people will laugh at this but who know me really well i cannot i just go like Bleh! just go all in into the deep end into whatever end and i just like go all in super fast and i'm like why can't i swim you're not going to be good right away but don't let that stop you because that's not the point you're doing something that you're supposed to do and just keep going because it's it's good for you. But yeah, anyways, I don't know. I'm excited though. And it's giving me like a purpose. I miss it and I've been writing songs a little bit here and there. I wish I could sing in front of her, but I'm like, oh, I don't even know what to sing to you. One thing that I really loved about vlogging before was when I had a paper and I would write every hour what I was doing, give me enough energy to get through things and to actually complete things and do things. I think some at least one person might not believe that I'm like this, but I I don't get things done. I talk a lot and I don't do the walk. Not because I don't want to and because it's hard work. I just freak out somehow. And I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm not good enough. No, I'm not perfect. I can't sing, so why even bother? And I do that with everything. And so with vlogging, the reason that I did it and I encourage people to do it, but yeah, it's a struggle and everyone's thing is different but vlogging to me is a representation of me just saying you know what just do it and that's what got me to this school this acting school and that's what got me <laughs> to the play I'm like i don't know i've never been in a play ever 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 at all not in high school nothing and i'm like oh okay i'll go to this play. i didn't go to playhouse square i went to you know it's <laughs> still a big thing apparently i'm told more than i kind of realized Sony, we need to have a discussion about you like overheating way too fast. Well, all I want to say is just do it. I know people struggle around me. People struggle with just doing it. And some people more than others. Also, another thing made me not try was that, well, look at that person. They're doing so much more. And at this age, or if I really wanted it, I would do so much more too. And I would like, look at them. They're auditioning all the time. And like, I must not want it enough. Or I must be crappy at it. Or, you know, why even try again? Don't let that stop you. Don't compare yourself to people who are doing what they can do maybe they're better than you okay whatever that's <laughs> that should not impede you living your life okay there's Christina Aguilera should I not sing should Taylor Swift not sing if Taylor Swift didn't sing because she sucks which she does I I am still pretty honest <laughs> we wouldn't get like awesome songs because she writes really good songs and the people that collaborate with her write really good songs so and like also there's other things that come out of her singing and performing and being and existing in our eyes i think also when people tell you do this you are not going to do it you're going to give excuses as to why not it's really about just doing it it's 
not about being perfect. I had a very early on awakening into that with my first boyfriend who would struggle sending an email to his professor that he was not coming to class and he would send that email mid class <laughs> and it's like well it's too late now and sometimes he would say oh it's too late like class already started I'm not sending this after like spending so much time on writing that to be perfect and then he would also tell me like you don't understand my gosh the times that I heard you don't understand like maybe you're not a perfectionist but I am I, I can't just send this crap like it's not crap it's not being a, uh, about being a perfectionist people appreciate you more doing and putting and showing effort rather than you giving a perfect product late or not giving it at all life is not about giving anyone or anything a perfect product you're always evolving you're never going to be perfect and no product nothing that you do is ever going to be perfect so you just have to do it do the best you can in that moment and sometimes you will not do your best and sometimes you will have to forsake doing something but that should not be the majority of the time so I saw that with him and I said I will never do that ever ever in my life and so that taught me early on to not have those excuses did I not do those excuses yes I did it took me years to get to that point I think around 28 to 30 somewhere in between that it was when I was on fast aid and that was the only time that I'm like I'm not going to make these excuses anymore I went to England they came back and for a year I struggled and then I had like a relationship that was like kind of crappy and then relationship I came across this like audition or not even audition whatever and I'm like okay well I've always wanted to do this I'll do it and uh, temperature okay cool bye I just did it I remember being on this bed exactly there actually right there exactly right there right there and I was like I can't do this I don't want to do this I'm depressed I don't feel like it I'm too old it's just an extra thing blah 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 like so many things and I said no arena you're going to do it because you want to do this and if you get a reputation that you're flake that's horrible do you want that reputation right now you have that reputation among your friends your family everyone not family but you know I pushed myself and I am so grateful that I did I just went and it was an awesome experience and I learned so much about life and about people and about film and I made some friends sort of or people that I don't really keep in touch with the kind of I also learned that importance of don't be a flake and just do things and push yourself because you'll get comfortable if you're comfortable because you just want to stay home because oh that's not the perfect opportunity that's not a perfect world role or whatever there's a moment for that yes don't just take anything i'm not a believer in taking just anything but also gauge that like be very very careful of that because you will think yourself out of everything and into it anything but that's another thing but you will say you'll make so many excuses and you won't feel like they're excuses they might be real there are people who don't finish writing a screenplay because they get physically sick like they get cold or something so just do it that was another thing i read this book uh, how to write a screenplay in four weeks or something 10 weeks no I think it's four weeks it was a great book and it talked about that and so like a bunch of things kept accumulating in my brain for me to actually do that but then I stopped I started going down my path and I stopped with the vlogging because it became too much I didn't know how to juggle everything and also it became your priorities sometimes change vlogging wasn't really a priority and I'm back to it honestly one to keep me going bring back that energy and two because especially now that I'm not on Facebook that much though like I have been sort of and living that's not a phrase that's not a word is what I meant at the same time I am kind of withdrawing more and becoming more private and I don't want to lose myself from people's eyes I know that sounds weird and you might just even disagree with that disagree with that and that's fine but I want to inspire people and I want to change the world and make the world better and happier and more love and more blah 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 and I want people to be their best selves more and I think I can't do that by myself and the reason is because people put blockages like when you try to point things out for them oh my gosh it's like the worst thing in the world and they will like take out all these weapons like what do you mean I'm lazy 
What do you mean I'm comfortable? Like, that's okay, what? And, oh, maybe that's how I got it, because I'm like... So they won't take it in, but if I tell you this, then you'll be more likely to get it. Also because I want to be that change that I want to see in the world. And I was also told this new kind of <laughs> idea of just be who you want people to be. And when they see it works for you, they'll want to imitate you. Don't just talk about it. Oh, I'm getting like this weird thing in my ear when I get tired and when I, I stop myself from yawning it's like It's weird uh, Singing is something that feels so home and heaven and everything and again I'm trying to get myself to myself again I've grown and there are parts of me that have changed lately and I want to honor that But I also don't want to dishonor the other parts of me that I already know and your temperature my feet, I think this one is swollen on my right one. Just might be my foot. I don't know, whatever, anyway. I don't know, it just feels good to vlog and it feels good to like have my opinions. It's not about, before it was about my journey. Well, at first vlogging was, I just need to be consistent at doing something and I need to push myself. I can't audition. I can't push myself in that sense. I'm not there yet either. And I can't go and sing every night somewhere. And you know, I'm not there yet, but I can do vlogging. So I wanted to do something consistently and I wanted to prove to myself that I can do something and stick with something consistently to push through it even when it's really difficult and I managed to do that mostly I wanted something to keep me going and give me purpose and motivation to wake up in the morning and that meant something I wanted to do something that was creative number four in that sense like I was missing creating in my life and writing a song writing a movie writing this doing that filming this was too big of a task so I'm like starting with small um, fifth, I wanted to just do things and not procrastinate for perfection, waiting for perfection. And I know someone, I dealt with someone and it was excruciating. I'm like, I can see, I don't know how to like show you that yes, I, I was you, I was the perfectionist. I just learned that's, um, I don't want to insult them. You know, that's like a, a green bean type of outlook on things. Everyone wants to be, to do something perfect and they don't want to do something that's imperfect or not good enough, but that's not what that's about. And once you get that, you will like churn a lot more stuff out and you'll get to perfection or closer to perfection, but you'll never get to it in your room. You have to go out there and do it. And people say that and it's so cliche. I'm saying this again <laughs> and it's like, ah, I know, but I don't know. You won't know until you do it you just have to jump you just have to leap and jump and do it which for a lot of people I think especially for this personality uh, of this person I think it's very difficult <laughs> to do I'm more definitely more the type that's just like okay I don't keep I don't know how this will turn out but let's do it let's try this out it's harder when your personality type that is like more cautious and like no I need you know I need to do things right and I need to think about it that's why I want to vlog for people to also see as much as they can but they won't be able to exactly because that, and that's a thing that I picked up on seeing other people like I thought oh well that they do that because that's just who, that that's who they are they are the person who hustles and I'm not a hustler but it's not like they got to that point they probably weren't <laughs> they were probably like you meaning me trying to make all these excuses as to why they can't do something and like oh i don't have enough energy i'm tired all the time i don't have hours i don't have money i don't have this and trust me i'm still struggling with all these excuses myself but i really uh, i don't know i just i kind of want to try at least if i fail i fail but i want to try to show people that i was like you and i am in a lot of ways like you more than you think it's not about oh you're different you just you know you're not about perfection like no i am i am about perfection it's just i realize that's not the important thing and that's not going to get you any place yeah being comfortable mm -mm. I, I cannot explain how much superwoman changed my life because she's like you have to get uncomfortable if you're comfortable you're not doing it right if you're comfortable you're not changing you're not growing not changing but you're not growing and you're not getting closer to your goals you will just stay where you are where you're unhappy but you're comfortable devil you know is not better it's not and with that okay i'm gonna go eat because your temperature yeah bye sometimes you record but you don't anyways i just went to the bathroom as you can hear it 
I kept thinking because I think I had actually the epiphany of there is no so we'll find out once we die why am I that going into such morbid morbid things I I already forgot what I wanted to say hmm being on your path a lot of struggles in my life right now have come from not being on my path not just for me but for people i wouldn't say people around me but anyways when you feel like things aren't working out and i say this because right now i'm so excited about this voice thing and i feel like everything all the stars came together to find this voice teacher and it feels so like the stars align and it feels so much like i'm on my path and i'm such a different person right now i can hand like i am such a different person right now if you speak to me and we've had arguments and we've had like or like like, things were just like arena I just I'm not feeling you right now what is wrong like we're just not we're clashing in a bad way we're not meshing or you know like you've been kind of down or you've been kind of like moody I think it's better to say or the light kind of left your eyes <laughs> your soul it was because i wasn't on my path and the moment that i get on my path everything is better i handle social situations better i handle being at work better i handle my co-workers i handle my friends and everyone else better so if you find yourself that you're arguing with, with people around you or there's something just not quite right or like things are just not working out you're not moving forward in your career in your life in your personal life or whatever health something's missing and it's so easy to say in so many different ways and you won't know until you know it because I people have talked about it all the time but it's still hard to understand it's a concept hard to say in words because words escape these deeper meaning things deeper meaningful things when whatever that's not going to mean too much to almost anyone maybe to anyone actually maybe some will get it like I said I've had my struggles lately I was lost I think in May I became so lost like, what am I doing I have like these two tickets i feel like my life is out of control not i'm not doing drugs or anything but i just feel like my life is out of control i can't get the reins of my own life i lost control and not in a good way because you're not supposed to control your life but you're supposed to have the reins to the horse you're driving you know the well the horse is going you know where it's going but you're supposed to not fall off of it <laughs> so you need the reins to hold on kind of thing or it's mane or whatever or your leg muscles technically if you've ridden it's the muscles and you're like it's the legs that hold you on to a horse and stuff oh i miss horse riding as i was washing my hands i'm like oh my gosh this is how i like this is what i'm thinking i mean i was just thinking it i wasn't like freezing like oh this is how i need to say it i didn't even intend to say it on camera until i got out of the bathroom I'm like you know what i should record it and now it just doesn't sound like anything and it makes no sense and i have nothing to to like share no wisdom to like share with you but yeah something about like being on your path and not temperature getting too high well so this is part of my being is like oh while you're cooling off maybe i can take this time and not turn you on until i have composed what i want to say and i'm like no nah, no nah. let's just see what comes out when i <laughs> when i click record um when i'm on my path i feel good and things work out people work out yeah everything works out and when you're trying to solve a problem like you want a new job it's not going to happen through focusing on it in that like oh, i just need a new job i need a new job i need a new job you have to center yourself to that good plane of being where like you open the gates for it to come to you oh, i feel like i'm all over the place i'm just thinking about like stuff and conversations i'm having or you know i was about to reply to where i'm like you know i can handle things differently instead of what i was like a day ago you know or two days ago or whatever i was not on my path at that time i was lost and now i'm good and i am a very totally different person being it's not about anxiety and controlling anxiety anxiety is not to me my anxiety is not a wiring problem it's a i'm not on my path problem and my body and my soul and everything in my being knows it hey arena 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 that's kind of what it's doing when i'm having anxiety like arena you're not on your path you're not like there's something missing it's not changing your job it's not changing the person you're with or being with a person or not being with a person or changing your friends or changing your family 
mean, you can't really do that. That's the one thing you can't really change. But technically you can. But it's not about changing anything. Could be. It depends. Everyone's, you know, situation is different. But it's not about that. It's about being on your path. And when you're on your path, everything else kind of changes how it's it falls into place yeah it's not about like oh i have this toxic friend i need to like drop them like maybe but maybe it'll you'll stop that toxic relationship not by you know not speaking to each other maybe you'll have a very good relationship if you're on your path because then you won't really get into things that you might get into if you're not on your path if that makes sense i don't know if that makes sense actually i'm just trying to like make as many examples as possible as my brain allows me to but yeah just like just a heads up on that if you're having some issues right now in your life you're unhappy with some things things aren't working out in some areas it's it's not necessarily you're looking in the wrong area like oh well I'm applying to jobs and I can't get a job because I'm not good enough my resume is not good enough or I'm not meant to have these jobs maybe I'm not applying to the right type of jobs it's not necessarily that it might be that something else in your life some other area is not balanced you're you're kind of tapped you're not tapped into your power and your path and you're like i always imagine in finding nemo that tunnel the frogs <laughs> the turtles go into your nemo that you know got shot out of that you have to get back into that vortex or a wormhole for star trek fans why is this like out of everything i don't really like vulcans either i don't know whatever cool